Hi, this is Sridhar. Now I am going to explain you about how will you refresh force the materialist view. Y usually we have seen about uh, uh, um, refresh complete and refresh fast. Now this is somewhat different, refresh force. Refresh force means the combined of refresh complete uh, or refresh for fast. First it will check whether the materialist view can be refreshed using refresh fast. If the materialist view can be refreshed using met refresh fast then it will go for refresh fast method if there is no materialized view log available or the materialized view logs got corrupted in that case refresh force force what it will do it will refresh the materialized view using refresh complete so first it will check for refresh fast if it is not available then it will go for refresh complete so this is a combined either or method is called refresh force so the syntax is somewhat same exactly same only the change is here you have to give refresh force instead of refresh fast or refresh complete create the materialized view the view name refresh force with you have to give with the primary key or with the row id why you are giving with the primary key because if the materialized view is going to refresh using refresh fast then it should need this with class with primary key or with row id because refresh fast def compulsorily needs the with class with primary key or with row id as the select star from the base table let me execute before that i am checking whether materialized view logs is available log is not available so since log is not available it will do the refresh complete method let me check uh, whether it is doing refresh complete because uh, there is no other option so better we, we can create the materialized view materialized view log create the materialized view log on this base table emp with the primary key the same should be given here also the same in creating the materialized view log also with the primary key now the materialized view log got created it it is available in the same schema where the base table resides yeah it's there initially the content is empty and the column is employee id because we have created an, we have created it using with primary key the primary key column is employee id so the first column will be the employee id close it now check whether the materialized view got populated or not yes it's got populated do some dml changes set uh, the first name is sham where the employee id is 120 update it commit select whether it's updated in the base table yes it got updated in the base table whether it is updated in the materialized view it's not updated in the materialized view sham4 is still there we have updated it as sham so it's not updated in the materialized view so we have to refresh the materialized view to refresh the materialized view using refresh force method the syntax is same like this but here you have to give after passing the the first parameter is uh, the materialized view name emp underscore mb and the second parameter is question mark question mark means you don't know in which way you have to refresh you have to refresh it using refresh fast or refresh complete you don't know since you are using refresh force the second parameter should be question mark in either way the system will generate if the materialized view log is available and it is not corrupted then it will go for refresh fast if the materialized view log is itself is not available then it will go for refresh complete so that's the reason we have entered as question mark here as a second parameter execute it's created now again select star from the materialized view if you see this all the row id was changed here already row id or changed actually for the first time it will do the refresh complete 
and for the rest of the times it will go for refresh fast method let me do some more dml changes in the base table and check what happens i will do this dml change only for this update statement so it will be easy i am updating the first name as sham1 for the employee id equals 120 done commit the base table is got updated sham1 and the metal list view it was not updated since we didn't refresh it sham is there sham1 is not updated let me go to the metal list view log also in the metal list view log there is one entry for the employee id equals 120 what is employee id 120 employee id 120 is sham so there is an update operation performed in the base table for the employee id equals 120 that that entry is present in the metal list view log u means dml type u means update operation so definitely now it will go for refresh fast because there is an entry present in metal list view log so if there is there is any entry present in the metal list view log then the metal list view will be refreshed fast only okay let me check executed if you see this now there is no change in the row ids all the row ids are same all the row ids are same since we have do doing refresh fast okay now i am removing the met materialized view log drop materialized view log on the base table emp so removed now i am doing no need to do any dml changes because the materialized view log was removed so we can't refresh it using refresh fast the only op option is refresh complete so to do the refresh complete even if there are no dml changes the row id, row ID will be changed so i am doing i am not doing any dml change just i am refreshing the materialized view refresh the materialized view now selecting see even if there is no dml change it it's going for it is selecting refresh complete because materialized view log is not available so it won't select refresh fast method so the row id is are changed yes and this is the co main concept of refresh force method it will select either any one of the method refresh method either refresh complete or refresh fast the next one is never refresh method never refresh means it won't be refreshed at any cost so even if there are any dml changes happened in the base table then those changes will not be reflected into the materialized view and here if you want to refresh using the alter method you can refresh the materialized view so if you are doing if you are using the alter commands to refresh the materialized view the only option you can go for is refresh complete see here i have given some points in this method the materialized view will never get refreshed we include never refresh statement while creating the materialized view itself so if you want to refresh or sync with the base table later then you have to use the alter command to refresh it to refresh the materialized view and this never refresh will always use the refresh complete and it won't use refresh fast if you are creating the materialized view using never refresh and later if you want to refresh it then you can go for only you can go only for refresh complete not refresh fast let me execute some yeah this one before that drop the materialized view 
normalized view metrized view got dropped i am dropping metrized view log on the base table also it's already dropped i am creating the metrized view using never refresh as select star from the base table is emp yes metrized view got created select comma p underscore emv metalized view yeah metalized view got created and i want to see whether it is refreshing or not no need to do some dml changes as you are already familiar with this statements just you can give the execute command execute if you give the dbms underscore mv dot refresh then you will get the error it says that cannot explicitly refresh you refresh it never refresh metalized view if the metalized view is created using never refresh you can't refresh it you're getting the error if you get this error and if you want to refresh the metalized view what you have to do you have to use the alter command alter metalized view the view name refresh complete after giving this statement you can refresh it using dbms underscore mu dot refresh sorry i have to execute this way anonymous block completed now it's got refreshed now again selecting now the metalist view got refreshed and you can't use the force method even if you are using the force method and and uh, refreshing the metalized view hi coming uh, continuing to where we have left uh, earlier i am using never refresh since i am no, i have using never refresh i can refresh it later using refresh complete and i cannot refresh it later using refresh force but if i given if i am giving it as refresh force not refresh fast i am altering the metalized view using refresh force altered now i am refreshing it using refresh force how to refresh using refresh force the first parameter is the metalized view name and the second parameter is question mark question mark means i don't know in which method i have to refresh either refresh complete or refresh for fast so in that case you can give refresh question mark i am executing it it's done so i can successfully refresh the metalized view using refresh complete and refresh force now selecting from the metalized view what happens the earlier one is this one now i am getting this whether the row id got changed yes row id got changed so which option did refresh force choose refresh refresh force is choosing refresh complete method not refresh fast method so if you are creating the metalized view using never refresh method then the only way to refresh it later using the only way to refresh it later using refresh complete and refresh force 
even the refresh force will also select only refresh complete or not refresh fast fast if it is little bit confusing just run the, these select statements these uh, sql statements you will be familiar thank you